Hey guys, Mark here. Last month we talked a lot about missing feature and workarounds for Affinity Designer. So I think we should give credits where it's deserved. And today we're going to talk about great tools and features. My favorite tools and features that I really love about this software. So let's get started with the first one. The first great tool in Designer is Shape Tool. That's right very simple down to earth shape tool many vector editors give us only the basic set like rectangle circle and sometimes triangle star something like that in i think designer take a look we got the basic set but also we can open this star tool and under we will find multiple shapes we got very handy shapes here that are already drawn for us we don't need to worry about drawing let's say circle with a hole inside this donut tool for that easy and more than that you may notice there are like orange control points they are smart shapes so we can control them just by dragging those orange points we can even open this donut and now we can get the fracture of that that's really really cool so very powerful shape tool much better than anything i use in different editors there are some very complex shapes already drawn for us so let me just get rid of this guy take a look we start with this but as you can see one two three four five different smart points marked with this little orange circle so if i use that wisely i can change this into flower like shape in seconds let's join here i can even modify the total number of arms quickly using the slider at the top or we can go other way around so i can move this back here make this completely stiff straight lines we got something like star but if i add more arms we can move into something more like a stamp a badge all right this is exactly the same tool we move from the flower to badge like shape so that's really really powerful and of course we can mix this very powerful shape tool with geometry right we can use geometry so i can have two shapes and then i can unite them into one using geometry panel or you can customize them by using node tool so you can just move nodes as you need and i think if you start with the correct shape and then customize that with first smart controls and then node tool you can limit the number of drawings you have to do with pen tool because there are so many shapes to start with so i really love shape tool here in affinity designer it's great my second feature that i really like is export persona that was a big deal for me when i first switched from adobe illustrator because at that time i was working with icons clip arts and i really need to export a lot of svg from each project so if you got multiple objects you can export them as separate files simply go to export persona at the very top and now i got this group and this group so I click on this group first and i can go to the layer menu and hit create slice done as you can see it created a slice one around this object i do the same for this one and i got slice for this object and when i go to slices i can see all artboards artboards got sliced by default but i can also see my custom made slices so when i select them both i can export them in the same time as pngs or i can change to svg or i can export both formats in the same time so that's i can click here and add additional formats so i will be exporting this slice into svg and png at the same time when i hit export slice so that's super helpful if you're preparing the files from other next graphic designer or from stock 
vector stock or something like that super handy to export all in one time multiple artboards multiple slices and each slice can be exported into multiple formats at once i love export persona it saves me a ton of time in the past when i was preparing icons and stuff like that all right the third not tool not feature but simply a price of the product is something i love so i remember when i was quite early adapter years a few years ago and i was telling people you know what i found this new software that is powerful almost the same as adobe illustrator but the price is even lower than color draw and people cannot believe that because that's such a good deal so we got cheaper software than color draw with very similar features to illustrator that's great deal current price for designer is 55 dollars i bought it for something like 39 or 49 back in the days some of you bought it last month with 50 percent off so twice a year adobe host sorry <laughs> affinity host this sale with 50 percent off usually it's like around summer and around black friday so you need to wait for the next one because we got one in may just finished if you miss that you will need to wait a few months if you're waiting for 50 percent off but even with the full price it's still so much cheaper we got 55 dollars versus 240 dollars per year so i can use it for a year and then they will take away the license from me and i need to pay this up front Otherwise, the price is even higher when you pay month by month. You need to pay $32. And if you, let's say, subscribe with a promotion price, you saw this promotion, 60% off for Adobe Illustrator. And then actually, if you want to cancel that month monthly promotion price, they will charge you because you are canceling the contract earlier. And then you will have like $100 to pay if you want to finish earlier and stuff like that so that's kind of shady be careful about so-called promotions for from adobe all right so i definitely prefer to buy my software than rent it and the price is so much better i bought it like three years ago keep using for three years so you can do the math how much i save already by canceling my subscription on illustrator in addition i i'm totally fine with repurchasing adobe design affinity designer i bought it first for windows then i changed my computer to be apple computer so i repur repurchased this so i got license for mac then i also bought license for ipad for like nine dollars that's crazy because it's exactly the same program with different interface so that's great even though i purchased this product three times already it's still cheaper than paying for one year for adobe illustrator so that's something I love that I can just pay once and use it forever. All right, next thing is Pixel Persona. I mentioned Export Persona. How about Pixel Persona? So this is our additional raster editor. So we got little raster editor built in to Affinity Designer. So that's not only a vector editing alternative for Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape, but also we got something extra that is missing in those programs. So here it is i just switched to pixel persona and as you can see all of my tools adjust to work with pixels that's great now i got lasso for pixel selection and stuff like that so you can do light raster editing and very often it's just used as a final touch so let's say you got vector shape at first then you move to pixel persona and you try to use um, one of those very nice pixel brushes to make some finishing touch on that and then you will have something like pixel layer as you can see i already mask out my pixels inside the shape because i select the shape before i use brush that's very handy and if you take a look here on the layer panel i got this ellipse this is vector layer but inside just below there's a pixel layer with my brush effect with my texture so that's really nice way to finish up illustration by adding those textures painting with some raster brushes directly inside the program without need to export that to another software that's really great and my last feature that's not really a feature 
<laughs> it's performance. I got really great performance here on this old iMac 2017. It's even better on my M1 MacBook Air. It's great on my old, old iPad. I got an iPad 2016, I think. Still great. So I never have any troubles with performance for Affinity Designer. I know some people got troubles with Affinity Photo. But in case of designer, that's really, really great. And they just improved that greatly last year. And now this infinite zoom is even better. So it's managing the resources really, really nicely. As you can see, I got little circle here. Let's zoom in. Let's, let's zoom in. Take a look. There's something tiny inside. Let's zoom in. And then inside this art shape, there's something tiny again. So we got this infinite zoom and it's very very smooth so you can have really huge project with hundreds of vector objects in and you got smooth experience so that's really something that we cannot forget about we are working with graphics so we want our projects to be smooth and snappy so we can finish without worry about resource management ram and stuff like that all right, so here are my five features that I love about Affinity Designer. Shape tool is great. Export persona is really helpful. Price is great. Even if it's full price right now, it's still much, much better. Pixel persona to give finishing touches to your vector illustrations. So we got this two-in-one experience and performance is solid on Mac. So I highly recommend Affinity Designer. If you switch from Illustrator, let's say you can save some serious amount of money per year. So that's a benefit as well. All right, guys, how about your favorite tools and features for designers? We all complain a lot last month about missing features. So let's praise them today. What tools do you like the most from this great software? The comment section is for you and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.